Okay, this is number four. Let's look at number five. It's asking us, I want the complete factorization and factorize. So I want to factor x cubed plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 5x plus 2. Factor x cubed plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 2. So how do I factor this? So again, I don't have a quadratic here. This here is a cubic function. So I can't use the uh, quadratic formula in this case here. So what I have to do is I actually have to use something called the factor theorem. Uh, factor theorem. And the factor theorem basically just states if I take basically this a value, which is, you can think of this as uh, this general formula, which is ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And you can think of it as the factor theorem is basically a times d here, which is simply just 1 times 2, which is 2 here. And all the factors of 2 plus or minus those factors would give you, if, if you plug in those x values and if it gave you 0 at the end, if this equation here equals 0, then it would be a factor, right? So let me, so this is mostly just trial and error using your calculator to figure this out. So I want the factors of 1 times 2 here, which is simply just positive 2. And the factors that are 1 and 2. And it's plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2, right? So plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2. And I care about those factors. And I basically have to use my calculator. And I would plug in basically, um, I would plug in, I would start with 1. I would have x here would be 1. So if x, e, so I can say here if, is if x equals 1, then f of x, or I'm going to say that here this function is f of x, is equal to, so 1 cubed plus 4 times 1 squared, plus 5 times 1, plus 2, which would give me 12. So in this case, it would not give me 0. So x equals 1 is not a factor. So let me try, what if x equals negative 1, then f of x. Again, I'm looking for a 0, right? So I'm basically going to my calculator. I'm modifying all the x, val x, x values to negative 1 instead. And negative 1 indeed equals 0. So in this case, if negative 1 gives me a 0 here, therefore, I know my factor. My therefore, so you can say, therefore, x equals negative 1 is a factor. So you can say that x plus 1 is a factor as well. Remember, you flip the sign if you want to put it into this kind of format here. So it's, remember, x plus 1 equals 0, right? So this is a factor. So if we know a factor here, we can simply use either factor theorem or sorry, we could use long division or synthetic division to figure out the rest of our factors here. So as long as we get the first one here, so if x plus one is a factor, then what we can do is, I, I like long division, so I'll use long division in this case to figure out what the other two factors are. So x plus one, so x times what value would give me cubed, x times x squared would give me that value. So x cubed, one times x squared is simply x squared. Subtracting both of them, 4 minus 1 here is 3x squared. These two guys cancel out. I bring down the 5x here. I do the exact same thing. x times what value would give me x squared? Well, I would need a 3x, right, to get 3x squared. I want to cancel out this term here. 3x times 1 is simply just 3x. I subtract both of these guys here. I would get these two guys cancel out. 5 minus 3 here is 2, so I have 2x. Bring down, to, bring down the 2. x times what value would give me 2x? I simply need a 2 here to finish this problem off. Plus 2 here. And this here would be 2 times x here is 2x. 2 times 1 here is 2. And this would give me a remainder of 0, which is perfect. So therefore, I can say that these two guys are also a factor, right? So I can say that therefore, therefore, x plus 1 and x squared plus 3x plus 2 would equal x cubed plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 2, right? And what we can do now, we can say that if we have our uh, x plus 1 here and we have a quadratic function, we can simply just factor this guy out, right? So we can basically factor, this here is a factor by um, inspection, and I can say x plus 1. Um, again, I can take a and c here, and what two factors would give me 3? Well, 2 plus 1 here equals 3, so therefore it's 2 plus 1, and then or x plus 1 and x plus 2. And this here 
would equal this guy. So I can say, therefore, it's x plus 1 squared and x plus 2 is the factored version of, uh, of, of this. So this here is our answer. And as you can see, this here is the correct answer as well. They have x plus 1, x plus 1, and x plus 2. I wrote it uh, like this, but this, it's also the correct answer as well. So the solution is correct. Good analysis. Thank <laughs> you.